on our website, uh, we have posted the results from uh, tests that were done on a quarter of a million uh, broiler chicks in the Netherlands. And the results were pretty dramatic as far as increase in health. Uh, plus uh, uh, enhanced uh, feed conversion e efficiency. Took less feed to put the uh, same amount of weight on the broiler chicks. Do you want to talk about what a terminal exhaustion experiment is? Oh, not particularly, but I, I will if you want me to. What is a terminal exhaustion experiment and why do people do it? Uh, forced swim testing is what it's called. It's done with mice. It's a, a fairly standard and well-known uh, method of testing for bioactivity on uh, the effect of a bioactive material on uh, mice. You place each mouse in a container of water where uh, it has no choice except to swim, hence the name forced swim testing. And you then uh, allow them to swim to the point of terminal exhaustion and, and expiration and measure the length of time. Uh, the longer they can swim, the more stamina they have, the, uh, the greater endurance they have. Why? Uh, if that's better than, than the untreated control population, uh, obviously something uh, beneficial is going on. It's not a pleasant thing to do. Because you know, don't you? I did it one time. I won't do it again. But uh, I did have to establish some clear-cut results, uh, results that can be replicated by other investigators, um, and that's the way it's done. Did you see results that were interesting? Oh, <laughs> incredible results. As I recall, uh, the treated population uh, on the average was able to endure for about two and a half times as long as the uh, untreated control. Uh, like 22 hours it took them to uh, reach terminal exhaustion. That's a long time swimming. That's a long time watching.